What's up guys and welcome back to my Newcastle United career mode. We're in episode 9 here and as you can see here we've got a derby match against Sunderland United. A match that we must win if we want to grab some points. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm actually going to go into my team and I'm going to motivate the team and hopefully get a decent result there. We are away, we're at the Stadium of Light. But I really do think we should be able to get a good result here, bring us up. What we should do first of all is take a look at the table and we'll see where we stand and see what we could be coming up with a couple of points here. As you can see we're at 11th at the moment with... 8 games played, 3 wins, 2 draws and 3 losses with 11 points. Taking maximum points today could see us possibly move up as far as 7th, but obviously that's only if Arsenal, Fulham and Stoke City lose and the other teams below us just take a draw. So what I'm going to do first of all is take a look at the team and see what kind of performance we can bring in there. What I am going to try and do is I'm going to try and bring in a, a couple of the local lads. Um, just think, think it's important that we have players who know the no one understand the team here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have let's take a look see what we can bring on here taking a look we're going to bring in jack colback as a central midfielder and i'm going to have him replace vernita so that's going to be that there so that's going to be that remy cabella manuel riviere lacazette all in good form there so i, can, I think i'm going to keep them in the position there what i am going to do is i'm going to take off yanka and biwa I'm actually going to bring on Stephen Taylor because he's a local lad as well. Bring him in. Um, Tim Kroll, he's come from our youth academy, so obviously we can keep him in there as well. And Fabrizio Colaccini. Um, let's take a look here. So that's absolutely fine. No problems there. Davide Santon um, can stay there as well. So I think that's the team I'm going to go with. I'm going to play the match. As you can see there, Tim Kroll in goal, Daryl Yanmat as right back. Fabrizio Colchin and Stephen Taylor are two centre backs, Davide Santon on the left back, Jack Colback, Musa Soko and Cheek Teote as the three central midfielders, the Remy Cabea playing just ahead of them, Emmanuel Riviera and Alexandre Lacazette as the two strikers there. You've got Carl Darlo as our backup goalkeeper, Mercedio Haidar, Jamal Lascelles, Sami Amiobi, Medea Bede, Sim De Jong, and Facundo Ferrier as the options on the bench. So let's get into this match and we'll take a look, see how we do. Hopefully, we can get a decent result here. You really do need to pick up points and Against rivals like Sunderland United, you really should be trying to pick up a good performance there. You know, fact, last few games, not defended particularly well. That's something we'll have to improve again against Sunderland. Keeping the clean sheet will be a big boost to us. That's hopefully what we're going to go for here. Let's get the match started and hopefully we'll do pretty well here. So straight away, Jack back getting on the ball here. I'm going to keep him getting, getting him on the ball as much as possible. I know a lot of the Sunderland fans aren't going to like him because of the fact that he moved from... Sunderland to Newcastle, but he is a Newcastle lad. He was born and bred in Newcastle, just happened to be picked up by Sunderland. Obviously, we brought him in on a free transfer during the last window there. Early opportunity here for us there. Fantastic sort of opportunity there. Shows what we're really made of there. And possibly got an early injury here. Do we? Yes, we do. I think it's Riviere there. Yep, yeah, Riviere injured, so we're going to have to replace. Him and bring on Ferrier as the alternative option there. Hopefully Lacazette and Ferrier can build up the same partnership that Manuel Riviera and Alexandre Lacazette have. Just moving it straight to the goalkeeper, just obviously part of respect, it's part of the game, just what we do. And I'm hoping we get an early goal, push on, you know, get an early goal and then hopefully push on for a few more goals. But I know that Sunderland are going to be a tough opposition to beat. They're not... They're not a team that are, are easy to beat, you know, they're going to be fired up against us. They don't particularly like us, we don't particularly like them, this is how it works, but let's hopefully do well. See Sissoko making a run there, obviously just trying to turn it back there, just get away from the, the defender there, but just don't quite manage it there. And Sunderland straight away on the attack, Colaccini there trying to pick up the pieces there, it doesn't really do very well. Colaccini getting back, picks up the ball there, drops it over to, to Santon, Santon to Sissoko. Soko tries to play the ball, doesn't really make it out there. And that's a decent ball there to Barsley, but Taylor just knocks him off the ball there, does fantastically well. Kabea over to Sissoko, Sissoko to Lacazette, very on the ball now. Jack Cole back on the ball. Spotty and Matt. And that's very there. Picks up the ball again, pulls it. Jan Matt picking up the ball again. Jack Cole back again, trying to pick up the ball, but just gets shuffled off it by a defender there. Jack Colback running back. What we need to be doing is making sure that he comes back to to prevent any sort of attacks there. And that's what he's doing here, just holding the ball, 
making sure they don't get too far forward. And that's obviously that's a lovely sort of challenge from Kabea there. Doesn't quite get the ball, but disrupts the play a little bit. They're still on the ball, and they are sort of passing the ball around very well. And that's a fantastic save there. I really thought Colaccini and, and Stephen Taylor should have broke up that bit of play there, but they've won themselves a corner. Hopefully, they don't damage us too much. Colaccini should have really broken up that play there, but Tim Krul makes a fantastic dive and save there. And he's completely unmarked there, and that's a goal from Marcus Alonso. That's the poor defending there from a set piece. We should have got the ball out earlier. Colaccini dawdled on the ball and punished very, very early on. So now it's sort of an uphill challenge now. We've got to get back in the game very early on and make sure that we don't do you know, too many stupid mistakes and, and give them an opportunity to score again. And Jack Colback just slipping the ball out of play there. Really shouldn't have done that, but, you know, these things do happen. There's obviously going to be derby day. A couple of the lads are going to be nervous. We've got, just got to make sure that we don't make a mistake here, you know. Try and get on the ball. That's what Lacazette's here to do. He's been in fantastic form for us so far. We've been finding that in pretty much every game so far. But really need him to score a couple in, in this game if, if we're going to do well. That's a lovely crossfield pass there. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, it's a really good play from Sunderland there. Cross the ball. And again, just gliding through our defence, but that's a great interception there. Remy Cabello on the ball now, opportunity for a counter-attack, but just shuffled off the wall again. Remy Cabello not the fastest player, that's one of the problems there. In that attacking position, when you go for the counter-attack, Remy Cabello slows down the play because he doesn't have pace. And there they are again, Sunderland again, just playing off our defensive mistake, playing off the fact that we're pushing players forward on the counter-attack, and then they get an opportunity themselves. Stephen Taylor there, possibly should have done better there, but... There's Jack Kalbach on the work. Darryl Yanmat now on the ball. Going to bomb it down. Remy Cabello back on the ball. Remy Cabello should really be our playmaker. Alexandre Lacazette. Moves to Soko. There's Shane Teote. Shane Teote spots the run. And there's Ferry just trying to get on the ball there. But out muscled by two defenders. Does well there though. Fantastic. Really good play there. Remy Cabello still on the ball. Newcastle still have it. Spots the run there of Shane Teote. Shane Teote. Goal! Fantastic goal from Shane Teote. Not known for his goals, but he absolutely hammers it into the bottom right-hand corner there. Lovely play there. That lovely, delicate chipped ball there. Chetio hit it unmarked and just swings the ball past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Fantastic. It's 1-1. That's exactly what we needed there. We didn't want to be going in, into the second half sort of 1-0 down. We need to get back into the match, and we've done exactly that. Now we just need to make sure that they don't um, punch us too hard, you know, try and come back at us, because that's what they're going to do. And he's offside there. We've done well there, you know, kept them on the offside play, but if they play another through ball like that and we're not playing the offside trap, then they're going to do very well against us. Here's Davide Sant on the ball now. Chase Yoti, our goal scorer. Jack Cole back on the ball. Spots Darryl Yanmat making a run. Darryl Yanmat. Spots another run there. Tries to get onto it, but doesn't quite manage it there. I think Sissoko was the one making the run there, but didn't quite reach it, which is a little bit disappointing. Of Davide Santon now. Trying to get back on the ball, but he doesn't. Musa Sogo intercepts. There's Alexandre Lacazette. Just muscled off the ball there. Stolen on the ball, trying to look for an opportunity for a pass, but doesn't quite make it. And there's Che Teote again, trying to shuffle players off the ball, but really well. Stephen Taylor there, just knock, knocks the ball onto Remy Cabello there, which is really good. Sissoko playing quite an advanced position so far, really. Oh, that's a lovely threaded through ball attempted to go through there, but doesn't ha hasn't quite worked out. And Sunderland doing really well on the attack there. When we're committing players forward there, managing to get players forward and we lose it, and that's the one thing we're going to have to be careful of. But Santon does really well there, just skips off the challenge there. Spot moves to Soko forward again. And when we're, we're trying to get players forward, and it's obviously just not working out for us, but moves to Soko just holds off the challenge there. And just slips off the ball as he as he tries to take the run forward. It doesn't quite work out for us. Remy Cabello dropping deep, and I'm not sure why he's doing that at the moment. Wouldn't really have him dropping deep. Rather have him in an advanced position to to take on the opportunities. But we'll see if he can do that in the second half. Possibly. Um, I've seen De Jong brought on. You know that's obviously going to be another option for us. That's a throw into it. That's obviously a free kick to us. Mustered off the ball, they gave away a foul. Chetty Ote holding on the ball there. Musa Soko. Musa Solo over to Lacazette. Lacazette not really seeing too many options. Brings it back to Yanmat. Yanmat tries to play it to Sissoko, but defender gets there first, gets a touch in. Just 
managed to, to get that one there, hold on to the ball, and as he he's very yeah. That's offside there. I wonder how far that was offside. I don't think it was too far, but Remy Cabello there. Just in a, in a better position than, than what he's normally been. He's been dropping deep, trying to get onto the ball, trying to dictate play, but obviously that's not what you want from him. You want him forward in an advanced position, making play, bring, making things happen. And there's Jan Matt. Jan Matt spots the run of Ferrier. Ferrier just knocks it across. There's Remy Cabello again. Just knocks it to Sissoko. Soko tries to play to Che Teote, who was obviously making the run there, but doesn't quite manage it. And it's 1 1 at half time. It's not a horrendous result there, you know, we, we can't really complain. They deserve the goal from the set piece from poor defending, but they've definitely had, you know, more shots on target than us. They, they've performed better than us in that respect. But I've been a little bit disappointed with Remy Kabea so far, so I'm actually going to bring on Seem Diong as the alternative there. Hopefully that'll change things up and we can. Play, play the ball on the ground a little bit more and, and hopefully have a decent result there. And they brought in, brought in Lee Catamull for, for Liam Bridcut there, which is obviously, you know, notoriously bad decision. Lee Catamull known for getting sent off in these kind of big matches. So hopefully we can get a decent result here with that. And straight away, fantastic result there. In fact, he doesn't quite have the pace to get onto that through ball there, but good early signs from Newcastle that we want to want to get a decent result here. We really do need to pick up three points. It's a must-win game. If you're losing against your rivals, it's not good. I don't think a draw is going to be good enough in this situation. Here's Seam De Jong, early on the ball. Spots a through ball and puts it through. Ferrier, Ferrier takes a shot, but it was on the volley. Couldn't really do too much for that there. Possibly should have played in Lacazette, but in that kind of position, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do, really. And there's De Jong back on the ball. Obviously, he's dropping deep as well to try and get those those kind of positions there. He's Jack Hall back on the ball. Playing it on the, the left hand side, um, on the right hand side of the, the pitch here, trying to make something happen. Doesn't quite manage it there. And sort of dropping out for a throw in. He's very back on the ball. Seems to young. Spots a through ball there. Tries to thread the through, but doesn't really work out. A little bit disappointing in there. And Santon going after the ball. Isn't able to reach it, but it's a throw into Newcastle. Looks as though. Sunderland make a couple of early changes there. You know, they brought on, on Catamore. Now they brought in Scope for Fletcher. And Fletcher, a local lad. You'd expect him to, to try and score against us. Spot the through ball again there. Tries to make it happen, but too many defenders around him. There's Stephen Till just cleaning up there from that. Lobbed through ball there, trying to make something happen, but there was no really, really, really there forward. And there's a lovely through ball again. Lacazette here, trying to make something happen again. Doesn't quite manage it, doesn't reach the ball. Seem De Jong knocks it back, back to Colback. Colback played pretty well so far, you know, he's done exactly what we expected him to. Lacazette, Lacazette, Ferrier. Oh, it's disappointing there. That's obviously just going to be a free kick there. We just gave away the ball too cheaply there. Lacazette and Ferrier not built up a partnership, you know, just feeding off the scraps of one another, but... You know, hopefully in the sort of the last few minutes we can bring on some, some speedy legs there and hopefully we'll be able to see something happen. But here's Lacazette again. Placing the Ferrier there. Ferrier just holds on the ball. Spots Lacazette making the through ball but doesn't quite manage it. I think that's where we, we've done well so far is, is playing on the counter attack and, and playing the sort of lob through ball. It's worked fairly well for us so far. That's just a poor shot there. And I'm going to make a couple of changes myself. Let's try and sort of bring a little bit of a tempo to the game so what I'm going to do is bring Medea Bead on for Jack Colback and I think I'm going to have I think those are the changes I'm going to make for now Medea Bead very good pass with the ball but I think we need we need that Jack Colback he's been cleaning up but right now we need passing ability just to try and break through the defense there so that's what I'm going to try and do with, with Medea Bead here he is early on with the ball there tries to make a pass but you know, he talked about passing ability and then obviously that happens. Not really great, but what can you do? Cheek to here. Tries to play to Sissoko and we're just giving the ball away at the moment. Need to sort of calm down the play. I know the clock's running down. We've only got 35 minutes or so left on the clock to, to get a good result here. And Colacini there just clears up. And here's a counter-attacking opportunity. Cheek to playing through Lacazette. Lacazette just chips the ball through. Tries to play in Ferry there, but doesn't quite work out. Seems young trying, trying to challenge with the ball, doesn't work. 
Here's Medea Bead on the ball. And he's not really made any significant passes there. Both of the passes he attempted so far have failed. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing. You really want him to do better than that. Colaccini snuffing out that challenge there. Passes it to Seam De Jong. They're just intercepting the balls whenever we make those plays. And they've done really well with that so far. And that's a lovely ball. Really, really good ball. And we expect them to score here. That's close there. Our defending really needs to improve those kind of reactions to those kind of balls. We've just not done great. And I wonder if it's a result of Colacini's age. You know, the fact that he's quite old. He doesn't have the pace. But he should have the vision for those kind of interceptions. Spot a through ball there that David was making. But didn't quite manage it. He's very on the ball. There's Lacazette making the run. Lacazette plays it to Ferrier, but Ferrier just misses the ball there completely, but wins it back. Tries to play through a B, but it goes to Lacazette for some reason. It's a little bit disappointing there. There we go. Chaitio to back on the ball now. Plays it to Sissoko. Sissoko to Ferrier. Ferrier to Lacazette. Lacazette just losing out again. Not really done too much in this match, to be honest. Not really sort of impressed in, in the form that he's had previously, but... You know, you never know. He could always he's nick a winner there. And there's Chaitioti again. Oh, Chaitioti again. Could have had this second goal in this game. It was very, very close to it. I think, again, I think it's a case of having... Not really sure who to have taken them right now. Going to have Seam De Jong uh, taking them. I think that's obviously going to be our best option there. Let's take a look, see if we can get something from this. Oh, oh and that's close there from Colaccini. Really disappointed we didn't get more on that, but it's a little bit disappointing. You know, from a set piece, that's where we've not really scored many goals. Newcastle notorious and for not really scoring many goals from, from set pieces, but you know, that's something we should be trying to change. And Colaccini there just manages to get a touch on that shot. Not a great one, but manages to get a touch on it. And... Tim Krul trying to play us through there, but it doesn't really work out. Oh, I was expecting that to be a goal there. That's very, very close. We nearly got punished with that. Really should be doing better from those kind of situations. Again, defensive slip-ups. And again, Colaccini just making a bad decision there. But Steven Taylor there just managed to clear it up. He's seemed young on the ball. And why are we playing as that ball when you can see someone making the run? I'm not sure why we're just making such bad decisions. I keep saying a draw is not going to be good enough, but it looks as though that's what it's going to be because we've only got a few minutes left of play and I really don't see us scoring. It's a huge disappointment. We need to be picking up points. That's something that we've just not done very well. We've gone behind, we've managed to get a goal, and we've just not pushed forward from that goal to be able to really do anything. It's just like we're chasing a result all of the time, and that's that's a huge problem for us. There's Lacazette. On the... I'm really disappointed with that. I don't know if that was... I mean, look how close that was. That was really, really close there. That possibly could have been the opportunity for us to take a goal there, but Lacazette offside there, and that's it. It's a bit of a disappointment, but here's another opportunity. There's Ferrier on the ball. Ferrier. Oh, and he really should have taken the shot earlier. I don't know why he didn't take the shot. You know, he just trying to skip past the, the challenge of the defender, which he did, trying to play past the goalkeeper, and he just didn't manage that last bit. Here he is again, Ferrier. Yes! Ferrier there, absolutely fantastic. Manages to win it in the 90th minute there. Absolutely fantastic. I criticised him there for the earlier opportunity, but that's absolutely fantastic. Takes it past the defender and then just slots it past the goalkeeper. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Two on to Newcastle. We just need to hold on for these last few minutes and that'll be a, a, a derby day sort of victory. That's exactly what we need. I wonder where we'll be in the table. And that's it. That's a 2-1 win at Newcastle against the rivals. Away. Absolutely fantastic result. Che Teoti and Ferrier there. Cancel out the goal um, from Marcus Alonso in the 17th minute. That's absolutely fantastic. And Fabrizio Colaccini made a few mistakes, but he's FIFA's fan of the match, so I'm going to let them have that one. That's absolutely fantastic there. Let's take a look where we are on the table as a result of that. Hopefully you can do well. Manuel Riviere isn't out for four weeks, which is a huge disappointment there. But Ferrier, you know... With a winning goal there, did really, really well. That's absolutely fantastic. So let's just take a look. That's the tables there. Capital One Cup result uh, 
is going to be against Arsenal home, which is obviously going to be good there. So let's take a look at the season. Let's take a look at the other tables there. So let's take a look. Right, let's take a look, see if we can find them there. This is one of the one of the major problems I have with FIFA 14 is attempting to to go through all of this. You know, it just takes so long to get through to the the the, the place that you want to go. You know, it's just needlessly slow. I mean, does anybody really care about Norway or Mexico or the Korean Republic? These teams, you know, nobody really knows them. Nobody has ever really heard of them. You know, they're obviously for the fans in those countries, it's great. But trying to go through all these tables just takes absolutely forever there and now we are in ninth there on 14 points along with Arsenal Everton and um, who've all played one game less than us which is obviously going to be a huge impact there let's advance on through the season let's take a look see where we end up let's go through that so our next match then is going to be against Newcastle uh, sorry against Arsenal in the Capital One Cup that'll be our next episode where we'll play the cup match against Arsenal we'll also play a Premier League fixture as well in that episode it's going to be a double header thanks very much for watching our season don't forget to click subscribe for all the latest videos